hey everyone and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to add primary key to an enemy in lucid chart let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time in lucid chart i want you to click the sign up option and from here just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go Adding a primary key or PK to an entity in LucidChart, especially for an ER diagram, involves styling or annotating the attribute to distinguish it as the primary key. Now, we have a separate video on how to create an ER diagram that you might want to check in our YouTube Deep Labs channel. All right. Basically, the ER diagram is called the Entity Relationship Diagram. All right, from here, obviously just choose the ER diagram and you would be forwarded here. All right, you can choose from any of the following. In my case, I'm gonna be choosing the file that we have created. All right, I'm gonna open it. I will be forwarded to the diagram builder because we have already created this in the past. Now, in this section, once you have set up the diagram, all you have to do is enable the database shape library on the left side. All right, go to shapes right here. And I want you to hover to the search bar and type in Anini. Click that. Once you've done that, drag an entity shape right here. All right, click this one right here, drag it probably around here and make it a bit bigger so you can basically make sure that this is the primary key. All right, so you have an option for the layout. You can change the shape of that to one, this, maybe um, this one, depending on your, of course, preferences. But for now, we're going to be choosing the first one. The field is, I'm going to make it just one for now. Because I'm going to create as a primary key. So that's that. Advanced options. You can choose the shader header. For example, uh, make it red. So everyone knows that this is going to be the primary key. Alternate rows if you want. Maybe kind of um, yellow. Now on the data, this is particularly important. On the selected shape data, you can add a shape ID. All right. Now here, for example, and press enter, and then from here, just type in primary red. You can basically um, annotate this, edit it to make sure that it is going to be distinguishable from others. All right, so here, text color maybe is something like a red. All right, so basically that's how you add a primary key here in Lucid Chart for using for the ER diagram. Now the next thing is from the shapes, I want you to click on the connector. I want to make sure that this is going to be uh, that. So you're putting in the connector for this primary key. All right, so I'm going to handle it very quickly here. So once you've done that, the next thing is you might want to click the file button, click on save. And if you want to share this to your multiple freelancers or collaborator or even your client, click on the share button. You have the option to edit and share, add people here, or maybe their email and click this um, shareable link. If you want to share that via email, it's 
for you to do it all right that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you in the next video